I'm always positive. I've had my muesli, I'm ready to go. The morning the unions came to Westminster. From rail and health... We will listen, we will talk and we will negotiate. ..to education. Members don't want to go on strike and we don't want them to go on strike. We want a resolution to this. Officials in and out of departments for talks to avert the biggest wave of strikes in decades. Hi, Emma, I'm Rishi. Meanwhile, at a health centre in Leeds, the Prime Minister not ruling out the idea of one-off payments for workers' wage packets. You wouldn't expect me to comment on specifics, but the most important thing is that the conversations are happening, that people are talking, and with regard to pay, we have to have those conversations based on what is affordable, what's reasonable, what's responsible for the country. But after a morning of meetings... What's the block on a deal at the moment? I'm not answering that question. ..tight lips from rail unions and anger from ambulance reps. All that the government are interested in is saying that in order to justify uh, a payment, then we need to find, we need to come up with productivity savings uh, in the NHS. That is absolutely uh, ludicrous. We, this isn't a factory we're talking about. We are talking about people who are working well beyond their contracted hours uh, anyway. But other health unions more optimistic. Now pay is at least being discussed. We didn't get the tangible concessions um, that we uh, might have hoped or that would enable us to call off the strikes later this week and, and next. Uh, but it was definitely a progress. We were in a room with the Secretary of State talking about pay. Today was always unlikely to be a breakthrough moment, but there has been a shift in tone from the government when talking about the standoff with unions. And there's been a material change too, with the possibility of one-off payments, rejected just weeks ago by Number 10, now appearing to be on the table. Any deal may not come in time to stop ambulance and nurse strikes later this month, though. People in Leeds appearing supportive of NHS workers. The NHS needs support, and the Prime Minister's not supporting them at all. Never has done. Give them the pay rise, give them everything that they need. Everything's going up, but the wages don't go up. How did the talks go, Mr Whelan? No news might be good news, but for now, the strikes remain. Plenty of obstacles on the route to a deal. That's it. We're going to have further talks this week. But at least now everyone's talking. Both sides aware of the dangers of a protracted battle. Rob Powell, Sky News in Westminster.